pots and pans banging. Uh, it sounds like cardboard boxes being scooted across the floor. I came downstairs, the noise stopped, and I was sure then that I had heard the spirit making noises. There was a person here with a group that was provoking, and I got punched in the stomach as a result of it. If you're the kid screaming, do you need help? We can help you. Did you hear that? A little girl just said, I'm right here. In the back hallway, I've seen a lady coming up and down the stairs. They lived here, they died here, their funeral was here, you know, they had children here, they grew up here. This is all they knew. Employees that had worked here in businesses past would come in and say, did you know it was haunted? And well, I had heard that. And um, even residents who had lived here in the house after it was a hotel, they left the house because it, it was haunted and uh, past employees that said yes we we knew it was but we weren't allowed to talk about it because it would scare away business in the basement and that's where I had been touched for the first time and it it's when you go down the stairs kind of like right there at the bottom of the stairs I had gotten touched a couple times, and we saw a lot of shadows. You could hear stuff moving, in, um, and then upstairs on the second floor, you could see shadows, and the, and the equipment would go off. Since majority of the activity is reported coming from the basement, my brothers and I will head down there first to begin our investigation. This is also the area that a woman had claimed to be punched in the stomach during an investigation at Panzerati's. There was a person here with a group that was provoking, and I got punched in the stomach as a result of it. But the spirit doesn't mean he was just angry and lashing out. Um, but there's nothing evil or mean here. Now, why, why do you think the spirit was lashing out at you? Because I was able to communicate with him, and I was, I could, like, he was trying to transfer his energy to me. I was getting angrier and angrier and angrier, and it's like, he kept provoking him and I didn't stop it so I think that he came after me because I wouldn't stop him from provoking him. His name was Simon, the gentleman that, uh, the ghost. Okay, so right now we're up here at the, up in the attic at Panzerati's and as you can see the K2 right here can you say bye, sir? has been going off basically as they ask questions. If there's anybody down here in the basement my name's Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. We're here tonight just to communicate with you. George, are you down here? Could you let us know you're down here with us? We got a device right here. I'm going to turn it on. So if you try hard, you can communicate with us. Is there anybody in the basement with us? Can you see us? Do you hear some say yeah or yes? Uh huh. It sounded like something said yes or yeah. It wasn't through there. Did you say yes?
You heard a kid down here and heard footsteps. Are there any kids down here? You can almost count on every night hearing something or someone and every investigation team that has been through here has found something. Uh, they, they think it's a lot. They say it's a lot more than we find at a lot of places. The little boy is the one that I get most activity from. Michael has followed me home. Michael follows me around here. He has already been talking to me earlier today. And, and it's, he's the one that, that <laughs> it likes to show up the most for me. And the little girl, Lily. Because I know there's more spirits than that because you got the hospital on one side and then you got the church on the other. And I just think since it's like right in the center, I think that they just are here because of that. She's kind of curious of why you're here because, I mean, you guys are like the first big group that's ever been in here. So she's just kind of curious what all the cameras are and, you know, what you guys are doing and so on and so forth. So she's just curious. Well, hopefully, Sarah, you realize that we're three nice guys and we'll be nice to you tonight. Tell us your name. You may have to try hard, but I'm positive you could do it. Please tell us your name. I heard the footsteps. Yeah. There's like right in this area right here. That's when she opened that door. I actually heard the footsteps down here right after the voice. Mm-hmm. Were you the one walking around down here? Lily, if you're in the basement, please try something to communicate with us. If there's anybody in this room, can you give me your name, please? If anyone's in this house, can you come, come into this room? It's out like here in the hall. Walking, don't it? It's in the hall. Right now we're picking up, uh, sounds like walking through the baby monitor, which is up and out of it. What is that? Sounds like, like shoes running across the floor. That's what I heard earlier. Are you up in the attic running? They love to roam the whole entire house. You'll get them everywhere. Though they're not scared. They know what's going on. And I heard the sound of a male and female set of shoes walking across the floor, moving metal chairs. And we have metal chairs in the attic. They're kind of like school chairs or band chairs. And now that next day, those chairs were in a circle. But the noise kept on and kept on for 20 minutes, scooting the chairs, scooting the chairs, scooting. The... Then they dropped a chair. When they dropped the chair, my dog barked one time. They never made a peep after that and the next day the chairs were in a circle. The Hamptons come from Dunderry, Ireland um, in 1930. They originally lived and moved to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania until 1953 when they came to Shelbyville and built this mansion here. Um, everyone but Anna Hamilton has died in this home. Um, June had married a Laughlin, which is next door, and she was on a ladder outside 
the window doing some work on the house and she had fell off the ladder and that's what killed her and then it was natural causes for everybody else. Can you scream or yell for us to come up there? Just hear something? Yeah. There's a device out there with a little red light on it. Can you scream into that? Or say something to us? He growled, jumped down, and hid under the bed. That had never happened before. And again, this was a, uh, the furnace had run that night and made it really hot in the room, so I had the door open. And he doesn't really like that door open to my room. So I, I asked William to take care of that. And within about 20 minutes, I heard um, a, not quite a struggle, but some boxes shifting and falling in the attic, which is the room next door to mine. It's quite large and unfinished. You like having Jim here as an owner of this house now. Jim said that you watch over him and protect him. Is there any reason why? I felt more upstairs than here right now. Yeah, sitting in these rooms, I mean, when, if we're moving around, it seems like we're getting activity. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, this. I know, this but room, that, it just seems like I wanted to wait and just see if something would come to us once we got the activity. Mm -hmm. You know, stir it up and just see if they're. I mean, because we can sit here and chase noises all night. If we can get something to come to us. That's what we do. We're ghost hunters. We're supposed to oh, chase no. ghosts. Or try to find the ghost. I don't have really as much energy as you guys right now, Doug. What was that? What'd you hear? What'd you hear? I don't know what it was. It was like a dragon sound right out here. Go out here to the opening here. Dragon sound? Dragging all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right here. We stop hitting stuff. Is there somebody in the elevator? Hey, everybody stop. You guys hear the voices? There's so something there's like a bang. Huh? Is it banging? But somebody's in the elevator. Can you come out? And there were pots and pans banging. Uh, it sounds like cardboard boxes being scooted across the floor. And uh, actually at that time, I thought it was an employee that had come to work early. And then none of the noises sounded like what we would normally start our day making. I came downstairs, the noise stopped. There, at that time, there didn't seem to be anything moved, but I was still pretty new as a resident here and uh, thought for a minute I was going crazy, but I was sure then that I had heard a spirit making noises. What's up here? Is this the bathroom? Yeah. Behind you. Sean, was that you? Did you hear the scream? Sean, was that you? Did you hear the scream? 
Josh. What? Did you hear that scream? Yeah. Where'd it come from? I don't know where that scream's coming from. Why is that? If you're on something. That time it was pretty loud. Yeah. If you're part of the Hamilton family, you like having us in your house. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's out here. It's almost the same noise that we were at. It was like, yeah, it was like the same noise. Like it's something scooting. Gotta turn on. But let's just do a sweep until we hit an area that doesn't feel right. Let's do one. Well, you guys heard a lot of scootings, like something was dragging or something? Yeah, it sounded like a, like a dresser or something like that being moved across the floor. Or like, wouldn't you say it was like a dresser? Yeah, I mean, it, and you even heard like a little thump. Did you hear that? It's like a kid screamed, or said screamed, yeah. Well, let me turn this on real quick, just check the attic. Maybe she's not in here. here. On this? No. Yeah. I got goosebumps. If you're the kid screaming, do you need help? We can help you. footsteps running away from me and they came from the second floor elevator area and they ran to this the front door on the second floor and I couldn't see anything but I still spoke to her at that point we were convinced it was a little kid the Hamiltons were here they were actually I think they the the casket and everything was in here they were shown here instead of out at a funeral home when I walked in here it was like you just so all the energy in here, you just kind of get slapped in the face with it. There's just so much energy here. Um, and the first experience I had was a little girl named Lily. Um, and you can hear her running up and down the stairs and the hallway. And, um, and then my second one was William. I was backed up to the um, room over there and I felt him come up behind me. Please don't hide from us. We know from talking with the owners and staff and other people that's been here, that you're capable of moving things. Could you do something like that for us to validate that you're in this building right now? Did you hear that? I heard something. I couldn't make it up. Do something louder for us. That was good. That's what we need for you to communicate with us that way. We appreciate it. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. It's like a cold breeze right in my face. I swear you've seen something move across here. Right in front of the pants. Mm -hmm. It went in front of the pants from the left to the right. It's like a dark shadow. Yeah, it felt like a cold breeze right in front of my face. Sorry. Jesus. God. I thought a crackhead was coming in. I was like, let's get the out of here. 
I thought somebody was coming through one of them doors. Did you hear that? I wasn't. A little girl just said, I'm right here. Did it come through there? No, it was without this. Where's right here at? It was like right there in my ear, little girl said, right here. Oh, it's like something keeps drawing me back down to the basement. What the hell not, was that? What? I just heard a deep man's voice. I mean, it was freaking deep. Well, there's supposed to be a George, supposedly down here. I mean, I, I don't know what the hell he said, but... Holy crap, that was like deep as hell. I didn't have my speaker on. Maybe they're starting to get more comfortable with us. Yeah, that was, I mean, like almost like a eight-year-old smoker or something. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Samuel? Are you in the basement? Can you close that basement door? Sound like it's like walking off the back right. Well, that is weird that like we all shuffle. We all heard that walking down here. You hear it again? And the more hey. people what? Upstairs, you hear that? It's got it's that walking again. It's off. Whoa, where, where, where? Josh, come over here by the steps. I think I just heard something up there. It's like whispering. Are you upstairs? It's back here. That voice was, we just heard a second ago, was plain as day. That was really freaking loud. But then I just heard a whisper and it sounded like it came right upstairs or right by me, but it drove quiet. Did you hear that? How is it? It was like a, a kid talking. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. Is that it's real quiet though, it's real faint. Yeah, it was real faint, just moon, you know, but it was like a kid having like a conversation. I think they'll probably get agitated that we're here and do something here a little bit scared out of us. That's what I'm thinking. Well, Sean already did that to me. <laughs> what the hell? Was that was that a scream? What the hell? Was that was that a scream? What the hell? Was that was that a scream? That was yeah. a freaking scream. It was really loud. Get the cameras over there. Did you Hi. hear that? It's talking right now. Josh, left, go. Josh, over here. Good film. I don't know why. I got the goosebumps. Here, hold on. Oh, I do too. That f***ing scream. That was a kid scream. Shh, too, wasn't shh. It? Yeah. Whoa. It's probably... Whoa, you hear that? What? You didn't hear that? What? I don't know. It's just fucking that damn old voice, raspy voice again. No, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Stay close. 
sorry, man. Jesus. Oh, God. I'd like to get more information from more groups who investigate here. I generally don't share any more that's already out there, and it amazes me how many times they come back with the same information. Encouraging all paranormal groups who are interested to come here, who want to do good work and um, interview our spirits. There was somebody coming up the stairs and I said, who's coming up the stairs? And Lily hollered out, me. And everybody heard it without a recorder. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, get back out of this room. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jimmy, thanks for out of this. Rocky, what? Tell me you didn't hear that girl's voice again. No, I didn't hear anything. Come on, let's keep moving it. All I could hear was that ice. I, I think. Part of that. Man, here, we're on move. I can't stand right here. I feel like some sort of just <laughs> jump out and grab me. I feel safer here. We're in all these open spots. Man, that ice. <laughs> To me, out of all the floors, this floor feels the creepiest. Samuel, are you the one that protects this house? Watches over it when nobody's here. We're going to be here all night. In your house, is that okay with you? That scram gave me freaking goosebumps. I'm gonna hear you. You hear walking? It's upstairs. Okay, Sean, I'm getting ready to head down to the basement. William, are you the one that was down in the basement when somebody was down here provoking and you punched them in the stomach? I'm down here by myself. Move something and give me a sign that you can see me. Tell you what, it's a whole lot creepier when you're down here by yourself. What do you do up here all day? Is there any other spirits that's actually up here in the attic? You don't have to be afraid of me. I know it must get lonely down here in the basement. Do you get lonely down here? I'll tell you what, the hardest part of walking out of a basement is walking out with your back turned to the basement. After hitting Panzerati's heart with our initial investigation, we now hope the spirits feel more comfortable with us and are eager to communicate via the ghost box. 
William in here. Perfect. How about Samuel? Are you here with us? Hi Samuel. How old are you, Samuel? How many spares are in this house? Samuel, are you still with us? What's your name? Have you been to heaven? Can you say Jesus? Have you seen hell? Are you afraid of us? You say we are afraid? Why are you afraid of us? Lights hurt. Huh? Did the lights hurt? The lights are off now. Samuel, are you the one that uh, punched uh, Darlene? Jesus, can you hear me? Do you go over to the hospital? You say Rocky again? Who was screaming earlier? Hey Sean, I'm getting ready to head down to the basement. This is a new way of helping people. I've spent years in healthcare helping people, and now I want to do it in a happier way. I think one of the most impressive things I learned is that the spirit need not have necessarily died here to have resided here. And there are transitional spirits that may just be here for a moment and gone, or maybe a year or two, I don't know. There hasn't been anything that's ever scared me here. And we've had a few things that are not so good that we've had cleansings for that we asked to leave and as I understand it they did go and things seem calmer but that there's a really happy and pleasant side to a haunted house. Is there any advice for us tonight as we move forward with our investigation? You're much more experienced at this than I would be and I'm excited to have this group here. I want you to eat and get full and be happy and we're gonna leave and get quiet after the crowd's gone and have, you can have the whole house to yourself. So every day there's something different. Somebody comes in and says something different. Somebody finds something else new about the, the actual documented history. We're able to maybe match that with something that a psychic felt spiritually or by sense, sensing that it actually happened. We have the Haunted Hamilton House on Facebook. It is Panzerati's Haunted Hamilton House. Please send us a friend request on Facebook. You may see pictures of the house and correspond by email by contacting us at www.panzerati's.com and always reach by telephone at 317-392-7700. Take your hand, you're cut. Cut. <laughs>